Hello guys and welcome back to my channel, Coco Chanel. Coco Chanel. <laughs> Today's video is all about eating out, socialising, when you are on a diet if you're cutting or for fat loss in general and this is something that Sorry. This is something that I get asked quite a lot and I think it's quite a common question in terms of fitness and that kind of social pressure when you're going out like what do I eat, should I just not go to the meal at all with my friends because I'm dieting, should I not have a drink or anything to do with like alcohol or if you're um, in business and you need to go to a lot of client meetings and you take them for lunch and things like that. So. I'm just going to give you some tips in terms of eating out, not stressing, sticking to your diet and your calories if that is your specific goal. Even if you're not in a deficit and you're just looking for healthier choices or different options or if you are wanting to keep your calories on the lower end of the spectrum, this video will give you some of the best tips that I have used, I guess, and I experimented with over the past couple of years. Number one, your water intake. So you should drink water before your meal, all day, and during your meal because water is, for one, it keeps you hydrated, but in general, if you chose to have water rather than a sugar drink, whatever it would be, like a full fat Coke, I can't think of sugar drinks off the top of my head, like lam lemonade, Fanta, whatever you want, things like that. If you have a Diet Coke and a water, you're going to be keeping your calories lower because there's no calories in either of those things. And it will reduce any added sugar which you would have had extra if you had had a sugar calorie, calorific drink. So say for example, I went out for dinner, I wouldn't have a Monster, but say if I had a zero diet drink and some water, that would keep you fuller throughout your meal as well and it also keep you hydrated because you've got your water in there. Number two, read the menu before you go to the restaurant. You're more than likely to make unhealthy choices when you are super hungry at the restaurant or where you're a bit distracted and this is something that me and Ben usually do because one we just like looking at the menu because just to see what we're gonna have for food and things like that but it does make it a little bit easier especially if you are going out with people that you can look at the menu and you know what's on there there will all always wherever you go there'll always be a slightly healthier option on the menu so choosing your food before you actually arrive at the restaurant or wherever you're going will basically help you not make those rash snap decisions it's kind of like when you go to a supermarket when you're hungry you will buy loads of things that you didn't actually really want and you're doing it just because you're hungry so it does make it a little bit easier sometimes if you are dieting or watching your calories to have a look at the menu and just see what there is to offer. Number three, have a look at how the food is cooked or prepared. Now the way that particular foods are cooked will have a huge impact in terms of how many calories are in these foods. So for example if you looked at something on the menu that was boiled or grilled for example like grilled chicken, boiled potatoes, um, steamed veg and things like that, they're going to be much lower in calories. There's less oil used for cooking and less fat overall therefore less calories. But then if you look at things that have been I don't know, pan fried, fried, crispy, anything on that region, they will have used a lot more oil, therefore a lot more fat, therefore a lot more calories. So if there was an option to have um, grilled chicken or pan fried chicken, you'd go for the grilled chicken as that would be the healthier option in that case. Number four, make a healthy swap. Now, most people in general don't usually eat as much fruit and veg as they could anyway, and they should because it's very low in calories, um, it's very nutritious, and it is full of fiber, so it does keep you fuller for longer. For example, if you have broccoli and spinach, which I have every single day, they are full of fiber and vitamin C, and because you can use them in such mass quantities, like we literally have so much broccoli, don't we? We have so much broccoli and spinach, and it does keep you 
fuller for a longer period of time. So what you can do when you actually go out for dinner or you're socialising, whatever it is, or maybe it's like at a family event where there's a buffet, you can always ask the waiter or waitress to swap things out for your meal. So if you didn't want um, fries, for example, you could just ask for extra veg or extra salad. Or if there was chips, you could ask for boiled potatoes. Most restaurants that I've been to will do this for you. They're really, really understanding with things like that. It's never really an issue for them. Or you could always just say, no, I don't want any chips today. Can I just have a, a side salad as well? So there's always an option to do things like that as well. Last but not least, number five. Ask for your sauces and dressings on the side. Now, this is something that I have always done, whether I'm dieting or going through some sort of cutting phase, because what I found is when you get, for example, a, a chicken Caesar salad or just um, a chicken with veg and chips and whatever, and there's a sauce, they put so much sauce on, and sauce in general is pretty calorific. Like if you had um, ranch sauce, which I absolutely love. There's like 140 calories just in two tablespoons. So you can imagine how much they actually put on at a restaurant because obviously they want to make your food taste really nice. But if you ask them to just pop it in a dish and put it on the side, so say if it's like chicken Caesar salad, put the Caesar dressing on the side, then you have the option to add it yourself rather than them putting loads and loads on your food. It's always just a good way to monitor I guess how many calories you're eating when you go out and um, I don't count calories when I go out by the way even when I'm on a cut I'm just pretty aware of what I'm eating and our favorite cuisine is Thai like Thai food and Asian food which is pretty clean anyway but yeah I would suggest for you to just ask them to pop anything on the side whether it's like a red wine sauce and chicken whatever it is if you want to ask for on the side ask for on the side so they are my top five tips for for dieting, cutting, for fat loss, when you're eating out or socialising, just to take away that pressure. If you've had pressure from like your friends, family, saying like you should be doing that, relax a little bit, that is the most annoying thing because you yourself are working on something, you're working on yourself. So just do some of those tips and they will help you, they will relax you and they will help you reach your end goal, whatever that might be. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you did. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.